let's go. The 10 biggest events are defined the Victorian era, Victorian free sponsored. The Victorian game. era is arguably the most underrated chapter of history. Despite featuring more change and progress than any other period except the modern era, between the Napoleonic and World Wars, mankind reinvented itself, discovered and questioned the laws while looking inward. Those who were willing to adapt to this new world reaped benefits on an industrial scale, while those who resisted change were swept away. So let's dive in with this list of 10 events that defined this fascinating era. Number one. The First Opium Something War, like that, 1839 to 1842. Once again, I gotta tell you, man, I, I, I don't know much about anything, but I know nothing about this era, man. I know absolutely nothing, dude. We begin with the event that would this set the stage most... for the era. A war that saw the British Empire clash I'm with sick, Qing China. Someone. The Industrial Revolution, which began in Britain almost a century oh, earlier, you go, you fueled a giant need for commodities, many of which were found in China. By the 19th Citizen century, good, Europe made numerous nice. discoveries, oh. reigniting the love for astronomy, archaeology, literature, music, fashion, Even chemistry, bodies, alchemy, make, make the occult, you? and so much more. Everyone getting sponsored. Efficiency and profit Excuse were paramount, as the positive feedback loop, accelerated by the reinvention of cement, glass making, road building, steel manufacturing, and most of all the steam engine, drove the demand for goods from across the globe. Social status was defined by consumerism and the display of luxury goods, and China was the main exporter of some of the most desired commodities, such as silk, tea, and porcelain. To balance its trade deficit, Britain sold large quantities of opium, but when the narcotics were banned by the Chinese government, war erupted. The Mighty Dragon, which was one of the biggest economic powerhouses of the world at the time, but was technologically backward, was humiliated and forced to open its ports and seize the island of Hong Kong, never really beginning AI what is now known this, as the Century of Humiliation. Exactly Within 60 years, China would have to deal with the Taiping, Nian, and Du Wenxu rebellions, the Second Opium War, the Dungan Revolts, and the Boxer Rebellion, because which ravaged have you, have the country. Seen the, news? And the, the Communist Party of China just had a, a meeting today, and during the meeting, live on TV, they uh, arrested and, and were leading out the former president, Hu Jintao of China, man. Fucking crazy, man. Crazy. And cost millions of lives as the Fucking state insane. struggled to reform. What During the same so, period, so the, show, the Spanish and Ottoman empires suffered similar fates, creating a trend and vastly readjusting the global power balance. Number two, the Mines Act of 1842. Never heard of that in my life. The booming free market economy drove scientific innovation, as mankind gazed upwards at a blackened sky and moved into the cities, searching for opportunities within factories. The numerous inventions and regime changes would seem unrecognizable to the previous generation, but for all of its splendor, it was also a world of misery, built on the backbone of lower classes with next to no social mobility, forced to live in terrible conditions. Automation cost millions of agricultural jobs and drove people to the urban factories. To illustrate these circumstances, we need only look at the vast child labor pool employed in you made these, uh, these animations or paradox games, the British that. coal mines. Because Children if you, if you worked between 11 and 18 hours in coal mines daily, since their size allowed them to the pass Bible through paradox smaller spaces infested no. with I rats. In 1838, a storm in Barnsley caused a stream to flood a shaft, drowning 26 children, oh, 11 oh. girls aged from 8 to 16, and 15 boys between 9 and 12. This event Jesus. caught the eye of Queen Victoria, yeah, no who shit. ordered an inquiry, which confirmed the widespread use of young boys and girls as oh. coal workers. That's human beings, man. We're reactive, we're not proactive. First something bad has to happen until we react, man. These poor fucking kids, Jesus Christ. This man. resulted in the Mines oh. Act of 1842, the Mines which Act. prohibited the employment the of women Act. underground mm. and set mm. the minimum mm. age for boys at 10 years old. This also illustrates another aspect of Victorian least, society table, and, and how it viewed women. That's good. Lord Ashley deliberately appealed to Victorian pruderies and women wearing trousers and working bare breasted in the presence of boys and men, which made girls unsuitable for marriage and unfit to be mothers. Jesus. 
It is easy to forget that you and me, you and me, boy, were very lucky we were born in this time period, man. But <laughs> 200 years ago, man, <laughs> women of this era were not meant to. But crazy how the human race made so much progress in just 200 years, which in the scale of the universe is nothing. Right? Leave their households crazy, without a male escort or reveal their breasts even when breastfeeding, the you latter of which K, led to the uh, death of thousands of babies due to the flawed design of the newly invented much. baby oh, bottles. I drink one little piece of alcohol and already my body like rebels like crazy. Number 3. Revolutions of 1848 Despite these horrible conditions and high infant mortality rates, populations <laughs> rose it's alongside food like prices. Like In an effort to increase efficiency, many states turned to single crop farming which substantially increased production at the expense of a crisis whenever the crop failed. The most famous of these cases was the Irish potato famine in 1845. Again, that I know and other crop really. failures led to the largest wave of revolutions Europe had ever seen. In 1848, the middle and working classes rose up against the European monarchies. Paris, Vienna, Rome, Milan, Venice, Frankfurt, Budapest, Prague, Bucharest, and many others fell to violent mobs who demanded Don't you think if we will ever see a time like this again I, I don't think so i think in modern day as long as we have technology and social media and the internet this more rights again. and protections of those rights. i don't think so nationalism Maybe ignited in, in as poles ever, hungarians so italians germans romanians so and many others there. rose He's the way as the news spread that powerful monarchs turned tail and ran from their fancy palaces but the network of alliances created by the Congress of Vienna aimed at suppressing such revolutions by any means yeah, necessary. The, the, the basic needs of people are nowadays taken care of, especially in the West. So why were still strong? Them? And like Russia played the role of the enforcer. Thousands were killed and many more exiled, ensuring the return to the status quo. While those who could immigrated to the United States, strengthening the country. Some rights and liberties were secured particularly in France and Denmark. But once these ideas were out of the bottle, there was no real return. Within the next 25 years, most of the ideas the revolutionists of 1848 fought for would be achieved, and the Communist Manifesto written that same year by Karl Marx would eventually become the most influential piece of literature of the 19th and 20th centuries. The they charge money to visit Marx's grave, ironic. The unification of both Italy and Germany initially failed during the wave of revolutions, but that failure taught a valuable lesson. Unity could only be achieved King by King blood Lown. and iron. Germany is one of the last countries to the be fully united, The ideas of right? nationalism yeah. persisted, but the idealism that came with it was replaced by pragmatic real politic. At the time, both nations were incredibly decentralized and stuck between larger empires that had been centralized. Russia, France, Tuesday, Spain Tuesday. and Austria could easily exert power baby. over the young, would-be nations politically, economically and even culturally. Nationalism gave the spark that was able to bring together millions of people, but it would take Fuck. genius of men like Cavour, Garibaldi, Bismarck and Moltke to direct it and the interests of the greater powers towards unification. That guy French? He looks very British. That has to be the British guy. This was a long and complicated game of chess, which ended up with two new nations victorious over France and British? Austria, changing the balance of power in Europe and beyond. Number 5. The Crimean War, 1854. I think the main problem with Victoria 3 is that for the first week you don't understand fucking anything in that game. You're gonna play that game be like, what the fuck is going on, mate? Or to 1856. Crimean War. The nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon III, was elected as president amidst the turmoil of the 1848 How is that revolution, from here? but proclaimed himself as emperor of the French only four years later. His goal was to return France to its former glory, and domestically he enacted great reforms that modernized the country. Internationally, he positioned himself as the defender of Christendom, and to that end, defended the Papal States against Italian revolutionaries. Around this time, the Ottoman Empire, which had once threatened the whole of Europe, couldn't even fight off Egypt and had to be saved by Russia and the West. As a result, their markets were opened and invited the interests of the great powers. In a show of dominance, Napoleon III asserted himself over the churches in Palestine, taking the role of protector of its Christian populace from Russia. When Russia invaded the Ottomans yet again, it found itself attacked by an alliance of French, Ottoman, British and Sardinian armies. The industry had adapted to the new era, 
but the militaries of every nation involved soon realized they were outdated in every way imaginable. Ironclad ships decimated entire fleets, cavalry charged into certain death, and cholera claimed far it was, more was such a weird time, man, when, when, when something that worked for a long, long time just didn't work anymore, and you suddenly, like, you, you're chip captain, and you suddenly see the steel ship, man, just bombing you to shit, and you just don't understand the world anymore, I've man. Than gunpowder. Russia so, was Lord, isolated. Idea. You got lots of money, you have to work a lot. Do you think I'm the guy you should ask if you should be a lawyer? Look, as a, are you... Maybe... Maybe you should be a lawyer. If you go to Tommy K to ask him if you should be a lawyer, then maybe you should be a lawyer. And this war also maybe, shows maybe. the technological and economic school, weakness okay? of Russia. Maybe you can be the next After British the war, Prime Minister. Alexander II abolished serfdom to improve the mobilization base and went on a spree of other reforms. These Russian Britain, who also man. noticed problems in its military, removed the sale of officer commissions, while other countries recognized the benefits of trench warfare and blind artillery fire. As well. I saw that in, in the in the in the warfare video about Victoria Free. Trench warfare is something you can uh, 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 research in Victoria Free, which makes your army much much better. the need for better field medicine. Number six: The American Civil War, 1861 to 1865. It's going to be very interesting in, in Victoria Free. The 19th Free. century saw the complete transformation of the United States. Manifest Destiny was adopted after the massive expansion west at the expense of Spain and the First Nations. This created new states, which upset the balance between the states that allowed slavery and those that didn't. A massive amount of settlers moved into these states that were allowed to vote on what kind of state they wanted to be, which eventually led to violence. The Confederate states of the South had a much smaller population and were not nearly as industrialized as the Northern Union states. Actually, no, many factories Despite there, starting yeah. the By war, source, the South was on it's the crazy. defensive, and only thanks to high morale and experienced generals like Robert E. Lee were they able to yeah, prolong the video. war, making it the most deadly conflict in US history. The age of the Industrial War had come, as cone-shaped bullets replaced the ball-shaped ones of the past, and muskets were replaced by rifles. Railways started playing a crucial role in logistics and mobilization. However, outdated strategies saw thousands of soldiers march into landmines and Gatling gunfire. But yet again, disease and wound management were the biggest killers. Yeah, logistics, man. logistics lost is everything. Twice. And I think even we saw it in Victoria Free in Hoi 4 nowadays, logistics is everything. As many soldiers to illness and infection as outdated yeah, or geez. lack of field medicine failed to keep up with crazy, the rising crazy, number crazy. of soldiers quickly Definitely being deployed with the use of railways. The trains were not separated from the camp, amputation mortality was as high as 80%, and by the end, the United States was profoundly changed. The victorious Union abolished slavery and entered the Reconstruction so era. Weak. That's so weird. Number 7. Germ Theory, 1861. The past two centuries... Oh, they didn't know germs existed until... I imagine you don't know that germs exist. Like, why? when people got sick, what they what did they think that was? Theories are marked by innovation and scientific development, which makes it easy to forget that progress is not a straight line. Back Science there, had several the setbacks man. after the fall of Assyria and Egypt, but Demons, the most God's notable one came with the fall of Back Rome. There. The early Roman Empire improved many aspects of human life, of including medicine, Come on, dude. writing manuscripts that described surgical operations mankind didn't Having perform a nice again here, and until the late up, 19th Waldemar. century. The Victorian era saw life expectancy break the Roman record for the first time. Thousand Only in 1860 we broke the life expectancy record from something 2000 years ago. Crazy, man. Crazy, 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 crazy. Golf diseases were discovered, surgical crazy. tools were sterilized, anesthesia was discovered, epidemics averted. They had no anesthesia before that, man. Fuck. But you can't miss anything you don't know exists, right? So they probably didn't miss that. Which always makes me think, which is interesting. What are we missing? You and me, 2022. What are we not knowing about the future? In 100 years, in 200 years, they're going to look back at us and be like, man, these 2022 motherfuckers didn't have that. They didn't know that. So interesting to think about that. Vaccines were created, and in 1861, yeah, Louis Pasteur's germ theory revolutionized the world. 
Thanks to his work, as well as that of Joseph Lister, John Snow, Robert Liston, Nikolay Prigov, Florence Nightingale, Robert Koch, and many others, humanity cool made more progress in medical technologies in 50 years than in the last millennium. The population skyrocketed as a result of the improved general health, prevention, and treatments that were developed throughout the world. As a result, the Russo-Japanese War of 1904 became the first modern war where more soldiers lost their lives to combat rather than only in 1904 we had the first war where there was more battle deaths than disease deaths isn't than that disease. crazy dude mind blown number eight the meiji One restoration thing. 1860 oh, that, that is that is some anime shit dude hey, what, what i'm gonna really try to do in victoria free is get medicine bro get the fucking medicine dude i'm telling you the eight in 1854 yeah. i also wonder how victoria free they are involving that in this period, died, so many soldiers died in, uh, of disease, and I wonder how Paradox is implementing that, like with attrition or something. Dor Matthew Boy, Perry ends. used gunboat diplomacy to open up the isolationist Tokugawa shogunate. Coupled with the outrage at the British intervention in China, the Japanese that, nobility grew discontent with the passive government and decided to take action into their own hands. The ensuing Boshin War divided Japan. 90% in... of Aztecs got killed by sickness, not the Spaniards. You should also include Valdemar again that the Spaniards brought certain germs to them, right? That Two. destroyed them. As the imperial faction fought for control against the shogunate. Yet again, we see the impacts of the Industrial Revolution, as the imperial faction the using modern weaponry decimated the samurai and ushered in a new Three! era in the region. The social structure Thank was you, reshaped, sexy boy. railways were built. Thank you, man. Foreign advisors were hired, and the seeds were planted for a whole new identity based on nationality. Education emphasized Japanese culture and standardized the language, blending Western elements with traditional values, a blend that it's was nice also that, seen that in art and architecture. Man. The process of modernization and centralization was particularly powerful man. in the military. Especially as a weeaboo anime lover man, when I was watching Last Samurai and all the samurai got fucking shot by rifles, I was so sad. It was like the end of the, Where of the anime era, you know? the outdated of samurai, samurai and even defeated them in the Satsuma Rebellion of 1877. By this fucking shit. Only two decades later, so. the imperialism of the West began competing with the Last rediscovered samurai, really Japanese imperialism, which That's swept across well, the man. Pacific Ocean and very humbled both Some China and Russia. No one ever gives enough credit to Tom Cruise. Number 9. 1869. Trans-Pacific Railway and Suez Canal open. By the mid-19th century, the world repeated the benefits of the first industrial revolution, which changed every aspect of society. But in 1870, the second industrial revolution kicked in. This coincided with the opening of the Trans-Pacific Railway in the United States and the Suez Canal in Egypt, two giant infrastructural projects which ushered in a new era of globalization. The scale of production once again multiplied, but while the first revolution was all about textiles, steam Amazing power and iron, right? the second was centered around so electricity, petroleum and steel. Man. Ideas traveled faster than ever with the invention of the telephone, telegraph and radio, and the cheaper cost of steel led to a massive expansion of railway the tracks. Just one motherfucker Unlike the his first, ship, the, the second way, originated uh, simultaneously in the United States uh, and Germany, really who no longer we'll were secondary while. players in world politics, but would define the following decades with their industrial might. In fact, in the Makes very next year, Russia would capture Paris and man. unify Germany in Versailles. One day it takes like one minute to the rise of the productivity an and advancement of technologies significantly improved living conditions and infrastructure. I want to know if I if I if I play the USA in Wiki Free and I open the Panama Channel, what exact bonuses do I get? If I play Britain and I make the Suez Channel, what exactly will that do for me? I want guaranteeing that crop I failure really would no longer result in mass starvation. Once again, positive feedback loops created more demand, which fueled the rising imperialism as nations scrambled for Africa and Asia. These overlapping interests put even more strain on the already upset balance after the rise of Japan and unification of Italy and Germany, and the stage was set for a conflict of unprecedented proportions. Number 10. The Great Eastern Crisis, 1875 to 1878. No idea what this is. Is this when the communists took over? No, no, no. The no, no, Ottoman no. Empire had won the Crimean War and put a great amount of effort and finances in reform, but at the cost of foreign loans. The naval defeats in the 19th century led to a desire for a massive modern navy, which was built at a tremendous cost. 
the rise of nationalism and weakness of the government put it in a very precarious situation. And all it took was a few natural disasters yeah. in 1874 but for it to crumble. Wiki Freeman, uh... The increase in taxes caused two large-scale rebellions in Herzegovina and Bulgaria. The April uprising in Bulgaria was a well-organized rebellion, featuring guerrilla warfare by bands of yeah, revolutionaries guerrillas? who were highly motivated. See, that was a the Ottoman Baldemont. response was swift and ruthless, as the Sultan sent out irregular troops to violently suppress the rebels. Despite their best efforts to reform, rebellions were springing up in every corner of the empire that had already lost parts of Greece and autonomy in Serbia and Egypt, and it was time to send a message to dissuade future rebellions. I mean, imagine you are in a medieval battlefield, and some fucked up dude captured a gorilla, sedated him, gave him iron armor, and then just puts the gorilla out on the battlefield, not feeding him for like a week. You just release him into the enemy army. I wonder what that will look like, man. He probably would just do nothing, right? He will just probably do nothing, man. Rebellions. Within but a month, cool the Bulgarian uprising was put down oh, with thousands dead. The massacre of Batek, a village aiding the rebels, became particularly infamous, with news of the atrocities spreading throughout the world thanks to the advent of the you earlier mentioned inventions <laughs> as well as photography. Darwin, Oscar Wilde, Hugo, Dostoevsky and Garibaldi were among the many who spoke out against the port. But the biggest response of all was in Russia. Patriotism engulfed the nation, and in 1877, Russia stampeded through the Balkans, reaching Constantinople in under a year with the aid of Bulgarian, Serbian and Romanian volunteers. Under any other circumstances, the great powers would have intervened. But the public outcry, honest, particularly in Great life. Britain, prevented them from taking any I never aggressive heard this action. In my life, dude. When the dust settled, the Treaty of San Stefano was signed in 1878, with the Ottomans ceding a huge amount of land to Serbia, so Montenegro, so but most of all, Bulgaria. So Months passed, and when public pressure waned, the great powers gathered in Berlin to adjust the treaty in order to preserve the balance of power Back in a Russia meeting meant liberators. to be the new Congress of Vienna. Bismarck, who was usually calm and composed, had a short temper due to the summer heat and failed to prevent one of the biggest diplomatic disasters in history. It was clear that Russia was going too far with its demands, but the solution the rest of the European powers came up with was the Treaty of Berlin, which swung heavily in the other direction and gave minor concessions to the Balkan countries and turned Bulgaria from the biggest country in the Balkans really into painting, two yeah? small semi-independent principalities just under Ottoman rule. Painting, Russia was looking really at yet another painting. Crimean War scenario if it refused, a risk Alexander II was, was willing to take if only one. Germany and Austria had given him any support. The treaty was signed Man, and the Balkans were left Makes dissatisfied to say the least. In the following years, oh, this would lead to the Balkan in. Wars and set the stage for the Great War. Shit. I kind of want to abandon you guys. And we'll talk see. more about the Victorian era in the near future. So it make sure you are subscribed and have pressed the bell button to I see it. So much, man. Please wow. consider liking. I'm so much, dude. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez. Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.